this is Justin McCarthy here for WCAT News. I'm here with chemistry teacher and physics teacher, Mr. Cowell, who's been here for almost 20 years, who's had an amazing background ever since he started in this field. But he's also a college teacher. How is that even possible? Well, right now we're going to sit down with him and ask him some couple questions. Now, now how did you get into the field of science and who really inspired you? Because I, I understand you have a couple um, inspirations. I was basically inspired by my high school teachers. I had such good teachers in science and I really liked the subject, so I went into science when I got to college. Now, who was that um, high school teacher that really inspired you? Well, I had Mr. Leister, and I had Mr. Bauer, and I had Brother William. I have some inspirations. That's Mr. Carroll right now, Dr. Lyle. <laughs> Now, what was your highest achievement in chemistry or physics? Like, what did you really achieve? My highest achievement was getting through chemistry and physics. That's not something you hear every day. Now, is there any famous scientist that you loved personally when you were growing up that really, really just inspired you? Well, I've been around for a long time. And uh, when Watson and Crick reported that they had found the DNA molecule and they found the design of DNA, it was brand new. Today, it's history. But it was very exciting to be uh, living in that time to find the, uh, the true structure of DNA. Uh, did they do any, Watson Crick do any other experiments too? I'm sure they did, but that's their most famous. That's the most famous one. Um, so when you're teaching, what do you try to inspire in students today? I'd like the students to have a love of learning and an innate curiosity. And they're born with that. I try to develop it and to have them to uh, see everything in perspective. We do a little history, we do a little science, and uh, we try to put it all together because nothing happens in fact. Nothing does really. Um, now, I also understand that you're a college teacher at Stockton. Now, did you actually plan on going into being a college teacher besides a high school teacher, or how did that all come up together? I was working in an alternative high school at the campus of Atlantic Community College, and they needed a biology teacher part time, and I applied for the job and got it. And as I got to know some of the faculty members, there, some of them also taught at Stockton, and when the job came up, I applied for it. Well, that must have been, been really good, and now you're here 20 years later, and you're still inspiring us to be in science, and we thank you for that, Tim. Well, you're very welcome. I'm uh, very happy to get this interview, and uh, I'd like to say hello to all my students. Uh, I'll see you in class. <laughs> yes, you will. This is Justin McCarthy from WCAT Morning News. We'll see you soon.